All right, here we go. Got a new microphone, so I know it's sounding great. It's time. It's not time to pee, because we already did pee. That's momentum. It's time to find velocity. So we're on to page two, more or less. It's the second thing you're doing in the packet. We're going to do this one. Number one, 1A, one right? It's not very hard because it's the same thing. We're just finding a different letter. We're finding a different variable than other than what they give us. So I'm going to write on my sheet here. See, this is the rest of the page. I'm going to write here. Here we go. So let's start with what we know. We know that P, initial, what's P? Momentum, right? Equals momentum final. So I get that right. You got to get in the habit of writing things over and over and over again until you have it memorized, until you don't have to think anymore. Once you don't have to think, then you don't worry about writing it. For now, we write it again and again and again, every step. Next, we know that momentum is, let's write it below it. Nah, let's write it side by side. P equals, what is it? Mass times velocity, right? So we know we have two things here. We'll call them spheres so we can keep the flow going. The first sphere, the momentum, as we know, is mass times velocity which is the little sphere. I'm going to color it in so you know what it is. And then plus mass times velocity, big sphere. This is the before, because it's the before side. Equals, we still see, yeah. Mass times velocity, little sphere, plus mass times velocity, big sphere. So what do I mean by this? Let's recap. This is momentum. So the momentum of the first little sphere right here plus the momentum mass times volume big sphere right here this is the initial so I'm going to put a zero for the initial velocity equals the mass times the final velocity of the little sphere plus the mass times the final velocity of the big sphere oh that was so much that's okay you guys are hanging in there keep going so let's plug stuff in what are we trying to find again are we trying to find momentum in this one no we are trying to find post-collision velocity. So what does that mean, post-collision? Post means after. Collision means like smash, right? Smash into something. Velocity. So the speed after they smash into each other, right? So we're going to go through our normal steps. This is actually going to be really fast, so that's really cool. So let's see what we got. It gives us the mass. Anytime it says kilograms, you know that means mass. So let's start plugging stuff in. This is the before side. B4, B4. This is the after side, right? Plug and chug. Mass of the small one, two kilograms. Velocity of the small one, 5.2 meters per second. Plus, remember this whole thing is multiplied. Mass of the big one, 13 kilograms. Doesn't matter for this side. Velocity, well, it doesn't say that it's moving, so that's zero. Equals, same thing, same mass. 2 kilograms, final velocity, we don't know, and final velocity plus mass is 13 kilograms, and again, final velocity, we do not know. So, let's keep moving. So, 5, 5.2 times 2, well, I just do that in my head, that's, uh, what, 10.4? 10.4. Plus, remember, this is mass times volume, right? We know the mass times volume is what? What is this again? I forgot. Momentum. There we go. So this is the momentum of the small ball, right? Momentum. And then 13 times 0, well, it doesn't matter now because the momentum of this one's 0 because anything, anything times 0 is 0. So we have that. And let's skip this side for now. And we know that this plus this is 10.4. Awesome. You following me? You with me? Okay. So this is the total momentum. Total momentum B4. You see my like little summaries? Total momentum, which is P, B4, collision, right? So we're going to algebra, algebra this right side. So we know that if we do mass times, mass times final velocity plus mass times final velocity, since this final velocity is multiplied by both. We're going to go ahead and take it out. And without my numbers, it's going to look like this off to the side. It's going to look like 
mass of one plus mass of the other, so small ball, big ball, times final velocity. Because we remember in algebra that this will just distribute, so this is the same thing as this, right? Easy. So with that being said, let's rearrange it. So now, mass of one plus mass of other is blah, 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 times final velocity, All right? Cool. So let's redo this again. 13 plus two is 15, right? 30, 40, 50, good. 15 kilograms, that's our total mass, times the final velocity, which we don't know, right? Now, how do we get this out? How do we got to algebra it out. My theory is, it's not really a theory, I guess my hypothesis, I don't know what it is. It's multiplying here, so we got to do the opposite. So we got to divide it out. We got to make it one. So you need to make this one, you divide it by itself. So divide by 15, cancel that out. Whatever we do to one side, we got to do the other side. Divide by 15. Oh, now this one you can't do in your head. So let's get this fancy calculator. What was it again? 10.4 divided by 15. So we're going to go 10.4 divided by 15 equals bam so we have 0.693 repeating so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to forget about this and i'm just going to say 0.69 so with that being said i'm going to flip this right i'm going to flip it i'm going to move this up a little bit so final velocity equals 0.69 and it's going to be meters per second i believe meters per second yeah Meters per second. That was my daughter screaming. So that's it. So this is awesome because remember that other one we had to do a bunch of stuff? We don't have to do it with this. And all they want is velocity. So this old school kind of notes that we did for the first one, we had to find the velocity and we go back and find this mass and that mass. It was super confusing. We don't have to do that. So that being said, we're pretty much done. So we're going to look at this one and be like, yo, determine the post collision velocity. Remember, we found the final velocity. So the answer is 0.69 meters per second let's check the key because i got the key i got the hookup man i got the hookup it's right here do you see the answer so what does that say that says final velocity equals 0.69 three repeating and eh, whatever it's the same thing so 0.69 we got it that is the answer to the first one a uh keep going if you don't know just watch the video and plug it everything word for word and it's a free answer. You got it. Just keep faking it. Eventually you'll get it. That's what you got to do.